All right, in this video, I want to do uh, a few examples on solving linear equations again, but this time these equations have fractions because I want to talk specifically about a certain uh, method. All right. All right, so here's our first example. All right, 3 fourths equals 1 twelfth x plus 2. All right, we already know that we could subtract 2 from both sides and, and then multiply both sides by 12 to get, to get the x by itself. And the additive property of equality and the multiplication property of equality. But um, really, I want to use this simple example here to get uh, an idea across that's really useful when um, the, the equations are a little more, a little more complicated. Okay, so uh, here's the idea. We already know from the multiplication property of equality that we can multiply both sides of an equation by uh, any number we really want to, except for zero, right? Okay, so uh, we're going to choose a specific value to multiply both sides of the equation by, and that specific value is going to come from finding the least common denominator from all of your fractions, right? So looking at this equation, uh, we've got um, a 4 in the denominator, a 12 in the denominator, and a 1 in the denominator. So don't worry about that. So the least common denominator, the LCD, for all of our fractions in this equation uh, is determined by the 4 and the 12, and that would be 12. The LCD is 12 for this particular equation. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by this least common denominator, 12. Why? Because we know that we can, right? We can multiply by any, anything we want except for 0. We're just choosing to multiply by 12, and here's why. All right, so first write it this way. All right, we're literally multiplying both sides of the equation by 12. So I've got 12 times 3 fourths and 12 times the 1 12th x plus 2. I got all that in parentheses. Right? Now, on the right side, we can use the distributive property. Right? We can write this now. 12 times 3 fourths equals 12 times 1 12th x plus 12 times 2. So I'm writing it out this way because I want to I want to emphasize this last line down here. Right? So really what we did was we found the least common denominator of all of our fractions and we're multiplying both sides by that LCD, but because a side may contain more than one term, we have to use the, the distributive property. And so we're literally multiplying each term on both sides of the equation by this least common denominator. This will all this last line here will always happen where you take the LCD times each term of your equation, whether it had a fraction to begin with or not. Right? And that's all because of the distributive property. Right? Now what happens when we multiply by the least common denominator to both sides? Well, 12 times 3 fourths is going to go to, well let's see, 4 goes to 12, 3, so this goes to 9. So 9 equals 12 times 1 twelfth x goes to x, and then plus 2 times 12 is 24. Everybody see that? And then it's, it's pretty easy to figure out what x is. We need to subtract 24 from both sides, so x equals negative 15. And that's the solution of this equation. You can check it by plugging negative 15 in for the x up here and see that you do get a true statement. All right, so this idea when you have uh, uh, an equation with fractions, multiplying by the LCD will wipe out the fractions and leave us with an equation down here in blue. That's a lot easier to solve. All right, All right let's try another one. All right, v minus 7 over 3 is equal to negative 1. All right, so we look at uh, our fractions here. Which we notice, hey, we have an equation. Uh, and we've got an equation with fractions. But that's OK, because we know how to get rid of the fractions when we have an equation. And keep in mind, we can only do this when we have an equation, not an expression. Make sure you understand the difference between an equation and an expression. All right, so this is an equation. We see that the LCD here, least common denominator, is 3, because there's just the one fraction there. We're going to multiply both sides by the least common denominator, 3. So 3 times v minus 7 over 3 equals 3 times negative 1. All right, remember this is like 3 over 1. Right, so these 3's disappear, get down to 1. It leaves you 1 times v minus 7. So this is just v minus 7 on the left and negative 3 on the right, which then obviously means that v is equal to 4 when you add 7 to both sides. Everybody with me? Okay, 
you can check that, right? 4 in for v, you get 4 minus 7, which is negative 3. Negative 3 over 3 is negative 1. That's a true statement. All right, I want to do one more example. All right, x over 5 equals x over 2 plus 3. All right, we have an equation, uh, and we have fractions with that equation. But that's okay. We're not going to freak out because we have fractions with our equation. We're just going to find the least common denominator, which in this case is what? 10. Everybody agree? 5 and 2. At least common denominator is going to be 10. And then we multiply everything on both sides of the equation by 10. Right? So we have 10 times x over 5 equals 10 times x over 2 plus 10 times 3. All right, and that's by the uh, multiplication property of equality and then the, the distributive property over here on the right hand side, distributing that 10 through. All right, so then 10 times x over 5, that's like 10 over 1, so 5 goes into 10 2 times, so 2 times x is just 2x. So the left side just simplifies down to 2x. The right side, we've got 10 times x over 2, that's going to go to 5x. Uh, plus 10 times 3, which is 30. And this equation down here is just much easier to deal with. Right? That's why we're doing this, is to make rewrite our original equation into a form that is easier for us to deal with. Uh, this is in solving this, we subtract 5x from both sides. We get negative 3x equals 30. So x equals negative 10 when you divide both sides by negative 3. All right, does that make sense? So really, if we have an equation with fractions, we're, we're okay with x. We're just going to multiply both sides of the, of the equation by the least common denominator of all your fractions. If you just have an expression, then um, we do not get to do this. Remember, the multiplication property of equality says we have to multiply both sides of the equation. And an expression does not have two sides, right? So if you don't remember the difference between expression and equation, go back and rewatch that video on um, an introduction to linear equations. All right, that's it. Get to practicing. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.